But even back then, I remember Super Breakout, which was you had um, I had a controller with was just which was just a sort of a, a round knob that you turned left and right, and Super Breakout was the you know the little you got the um, the yeah. kind of platform oh. at the bottom moving left and right, yeah, oh, and you have annoying. to bounce, yeah, and um, even then I thought that was rubbish, but. I still played it. Oh, all those games I had, I knew were rubbish, but I had nothing else. So it's yeah, like, exactly. It is what it is. Uh, did you play um, Raiders of the Lost Ark on the Atari? No, but I remember. I didn't know there was a Raiders of the Lost Ark. I remember they did a Temple of Doom. Well, so Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then if you if you put that alongside ET, yeah. which was the worst game. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Raiders of the Lost Ark is really similar. So, oh, really? Wonder, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've probably got it on an emulator somewhere. I'll have to look at it. But um, yeah. it's interesting you say about E.T. That was apparently the reason of the great game crash back in the 80s because yeah. it cost them so much to produce and it was so bad that they couldn't sell them or anything. So they had to bury a load of them in the desert. <laughs> and it, and that is actually true because they dug a load of these cartridges up quite recently. Um, really, it led to the yeah, it led to the great collapse of the games industry for that period. <laughs> so a lot of big gaming labels collapsed. One game I mean, in this played it. Yeah, I've played it and it's bad. Yeah, but then, yeah, it is. The thing is, I don't know. You say, oh, it's bad, but I'm like every game that you play on that console. If you have an emulator now, it's all rubbish. No, no, that's no, just no. another that that's just like another rubbish game. 